Hello. You might have heard many news about locusts. Locusts are animals that eat a lot. These insects can eat their own body weight in one day. They have been swarming around Asia and Africa. Locusts are about this big, and most of them can fly. So you might think, mm -hmm, it's just an insect. But no, these special types of grasshoppers eat a lot. As I said, they eat their own body weight in a day. Locusts begin as eggs. Other locusts hatch eggs and dig them inside the ground and put them there. And then they spray a special foam onto it, a chemical foam that has some protection. It acts as a disinfectant, a little hole in the ground. It acts as a disinfectant so that the eggs are safe. And they also give off a scent so that other eggs can be put there. Locust power comes in their numbers. So, the locusts only hatch after some time, but sometimes they can remain dormant for 20 years until they finally hatch. Once they do hatch, those uh, locusts are called hoppers since they're still in their childhood stage. They don't eat as much as adult locusts, but they still can do some damage, but not that much. So, after four weeks, the hoppers grow to their adult stage, which is a locust. And then, locusts begin to eat the entire area they were born in, and they keep on eating it until there is no vegetation left. And then, they release scents that tell the others, we need to move somewhere else. And then, they rise. Once they become adult locusts, they get wings, so they can fly. And then they fly to other areas, sometimes many miles away. How do they do this? They fly with the wind, not against it. One insect's wings could not take it that far, but with the wind, they can go 90 miles in a day. So the way they use the wind is that they use it and they glide basically, they glide on it. But they don't know where they're going because they don't know where, where the wind is going. They only do this because they can't fly that well. And wind always goes from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. Where it has rained, that area is slightly low pressure. Then the wind flows to the low pressure area. And one where there is rain, there is most of the time plants. So that's why the locusts go in that direction of the wind. Once they land on a crops area, they begin to eat, as I said, their entire body weight in a day. They keep on eating and ravage farms, fields, and even wild areas. They, their swarms are very big. Sometimes they're only a few thousand strong, but sometimes they can be millions of them. The millions of swarms that cover them, all the insects are really damaging to farms and other things. Many people go hungry historically when locusts hit. Once they have cleared an entire area, they rise up and move on with the wind. The locusts are very interested in plants and they will eat everything. So once they're in the air, you can't stop them. Even if you pour poisons on them, your plants will be affected the locust will, some of them will die because it's poison, but the plants you land the poison on, those will also get poisoned. So it can be very unhealthy. So the best way to stop the locust is when they're in their hopper stage, when they don't have wings. Without the wings, they can't fly to new places. Their only limitation is walking. 
So that is the time when many people start spraying poisons when they see hoppers. The best time to stop them is when they're in the hopper stage. A many universities are trying to stop and find a way to combat the locusts. So some universities have found some insight into how these locusts swarm. They have taken all the sense of the locust because locust's main way of communicating is through scents. A locust might send a scent to say that there is no more food, we need to go somewhere else. So there are many scents that the locust gives off. Some universities and scientists are isolating these chemicals so that they can think they can use them to stop the swarm. There is no reliable way of stopping locusts. As I said before, the poisons don't work. So, many farmers are still devastated by the news that their entire farm is gone. So, there is no way to stop them. There is no way because the insects can fly to other areas. Once they're up, there's no stopping them. Some people have offered solutions, like the scent isolation. Other people are saying we can eat the locusts, as insects are always almost packed with protein. Many people will just catch them and eat them, but not many people are in support of that idea. So, that is the way of the locust. The locust starts from the egg and then it grows and then it becomes the swarm but once the swarm has ended its regime once the wind has died down the swarm is ending and that's when the swarm rests and there they lay the eggs and then a few months years or even decades later the new generation arises and the next swarm of locusts begins. So, that is how the locusts live. I hope that now there must be some way to stop them. I hope that they don't cause too much damage in Asia and Africa. But we need to stop them.